If you are a fan of Formula One, you might have heard commentators and pundits using the word camber. In this video, we will explain what this term means and how it applies to F1 cars. Let's get started. Camber is a term that is used in automobiles in general. It refers to the angle of the wheels in relation to the vertical. When the tires of an automobile lean inward, it is known as negative camber. And when the tires lean outward, it is known as positive camber. When it comes to racing, one of the most important factors is grip, especially when cornering. In order to understand how grip is maximized, we have to look at the term contact patch. Contact patch is the surface area of the tire which is touching the road. In order to achieve maximum grip between the tires and the road surface, the contact patch between the tire and the road should be as large as possible. Due to the laws of physics, when cornering at high speeds, Formula One cars exert a lot of pressure towards the outside of the tire. For this reason, all racing cars have their tires set up with a slightly negative camber, tires tilting towards the center. With this negative camber set up, the contact patch between the road and the tire is maximized when cornering. The pressure which naturally occurs on the outside of the tire is neutralized by the inward tilt. Since camber settings cannot be adjusted while driving, the optimal camber angle takes into account all the corners in the track. In 2020, Mercedes introduced the DAS system which allowed drivers to adjust the toe angle of the car while driving. These changes that drivers performed on the fly impacted camber as well. After the 2020 season, this DAS system was banned, so drivers can no longer adjust the toe or camber angle while driving. The idea behind adjusting the camber settings is to promote even heat distribution across the tire. If Formula One cars had zero camber or positive camber, the outside of the tires would wear out much quicker than the inside of the tires. If too much negative camber is applied, the inside of the tire will wear out faster than the outside of the tire. As you can see, having the right camber settings is essential in racing. Positive camber or too little or too much negative camber could potentially destroy a driver's race. Hope this video helped you learn about camber as it relates to Formula One. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like this video and consider subscribing to the channel for more great Formula One content.